Lots of us try to do the right thing. We vote, we volunteer, we speak up. But under all of those actions has to come something that sustains us. For me, as I told Laura Brown, it's an ambition. It's an understanding that things used to be worse isn't good enough. In the first few months of the pandemic, cases were climbing, Americans were dying. The disease was winning and we had virtually no tools to stop. In March, Congress convened the nation's top public health experts in a walnut paneled room for a hearing. One after the other from the top of the dais, representatives asked what could be done. Looking through their wire rim glasses, studying their notes, the experts acknowledged the problems that my colleagues were raising. I sat in the farthest corner, in the bottom row. The last to question, I used my whiteboard to show the costs of a COVID test. And then I asked the CDC director, the nation's top doctor, to make COVID testing free. He thanked me for my question. He accepted the high cost is accurate. He described the complexities of testing and medical billing. And the other experts nodded their gray heads in agreement. He described how the CDC needed to operationalize the payment structure, and he promised to look into it. But I had made a different promise. Not good enough, I said. Will you do what the law lets you do and make COVID testing free? He blinked. He whispered to his aide. Finally, he said, I think you're an excellent questioner. And the answer is yes. In, in that moment, every American Every American got a tool against COVID, the ability to get a test. That was a big win. And it came about because some new House member, literally the last in line, had the courage to say what powerful men, often with gray hair and wire rim glasses, rarely hear. That what they are offering is not good enough. Many of us, are so quick to say that about ourselves. Hell, I have a badass woman award, and I asked myself this morning whether I was good enough as a boss, good enough as a representative, good enough as a mother. We need to stop asking ourselves if we are good enough and start saying not good enough to the forces that are holding us back. Because where our country is right now is not good enough. Not for women, for people of color, for immigrants, for LGBTQ people, for people with disabilities. Too often they are left behind and we are left with our doubts about whether we can make a difference. Being a badass is about listening to our ambition that today's world is not good enough, instead of our doubts about whether we are. So tonight, I accept this award on behalf of every American willing to say, not good enough. Our country can do better. Thank you very much.